John here and I've just separated the two giant boxes and I have opened it because I just wanted to check and try and see which one it is. This is the pop culture one, which I don't think the little one will know much about the franchises in there. So this is where he can learn a little bit. Loads of this bubble stuff, which is good. Ooh. So we have a Breaking Bad coffee or tea mug, which I think is going to be popped because it is very heavy. But it's cool. Officially licensed from tier products as well. Ooh, I like this. Game of Thrones Stark Cappuccino mug and stencil. Cool. Wow, that is one massive mug. I won't use it for cappuccino. I will use that for a giant cup of tea. That is enormous. That is massive. So, that's the first two items. We've got a bit more bubbly wrap stuff. Cool. So, we have a lenticular piece of art, which is Animal Crossing. Yes, dude? I have that game. I've moved well, on my Switch. You are happily like that then? Yeah. Oh, perfect. I'm happy with this. I have a journal, notebook, Jurassic Park, the original design as well. I love that. That is amazing. I am happy with that. I've got something for me. I've got the mugs anyway. I'll end up keeping the mugs. Um, there's a poster. The World of Science. I'm not going to open it because I don't normally do them sort of things. I'll leave that as it is because that can go somewhere else. I don't normally do them, but if I get a chance to put something up. We also have, this is cool. There is a coaster from Zelda, Legend of Zelda. But with it is a keyring of Link with his shield. So that is cool. Happy with that? Cool, yeah. Um, Could I have this? Yes, dude. Um, I don't know what franchise this is from. Um, it's a framed artwork, print. Um, if nothing else, if I can take it out and it's not connected to it, then I've got myself a nice frame that I can put a big 811 by 14 in. And it says, Billy. I'm thinking, is it Billy Idol? Singer? Potentially it could be. Again, I don't know. But again, that is a perfect frame for some of the big 11 by 14s we've had. So that's cool. We have the last item, which is going to be cool because I can use this at the house. And it is a Star Wars item. Um, by the look of it, it relates more to Force Awakens. But it says, all droids are welcome. So we have a mat. That is great. That can go in the front for the stuff coming in. Um, I'd say that'll be about £10 for the doormat. That, three or four pounds, maybe five pounds. Another couple for that, so that, what, we got 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 quid. 25. Another five, 30. Um, 32. Animal Crossing, a couple of quid. Um, what was the other one, dude? The key ring link thing. So yeah, I'd say it probably is probably not far off the value that these are supposed to be. This box cost me fifteen pounds. So the mat and the Breaking Bad thing, I'd say, cover it already. 
Then you've got the start mug. Could be more than £5. That could even be 10 I think some of these go for a lot more than what I'm thinking because it's just stuff that's not really my fandoms as such. But for £15, I'd say you've easily hit the 50 quid value that you're supposed to get. So, we will put that over on top of the band boxes, dude. Put it on top of the band boxes for me. Or it can go on the floor there, and we'll do this next one. All right, put it on the floor. Oh, it's a heavy one. So, I'm happy with that box for 15 quid. Tons of stuff in there, that is great. And there was no delivery charges either. And it arrived within two days. So, hit or miss? Hit, hit, hit. Definitely happy with that, I think that is a great box. I will put in the description a link to their site. They are basically people who supply HMV with all of their mystery boxes. But this is now direct from them rather than from HMV. So I could have gone and brought two or three boxes from HMV in the smaller ones. They do sell them as well. But I thought we'll try one of these big ones. And they've definitely hit the value. He's got some items he loves. I've got some items. It's great. So, thanks for watching. Bye for now.